Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Hi everyone, I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Brandon Woolley and we have some changes on the way over the next couple of days, especially for Monday. 68 degrees is your current temperature. East southeasterly winds between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. Those winds staying light tonight all the way through the next couple of days. Live now from our tower camera, some nice colors out there. A beautiful shot of downtown Tulsa. Your current temperature now in Broken Arrow down to street level. We go at 68 degrees, lowering down those high temperatures temperatures into the lower 60s on Monday when a weather system will cross through green country. Those current temperatures across elsewhere now we have mid 60s to right around 70 degrees. Vanita now reports 66 degrees, 67 in Coffeyville. We have 69 in Pryor and 70 in Bristow and for our viewers in McAllister. Well, the official daytime high today was above the average high temperature, 73 degrees to be exact, 52 for the overnight low. The averages for this time of year of 66 and 44, lowering down again those observed high temperatures for Monday to below that average high temperature. And then for next week, I mean, things are looking more like fall around the region, as you're going to see on your seven day. You can see on the radar and satellite, we are tracking this disturbance over the Four Corners region that's going to lift out out of that area into eastern Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas for overnight tomorrow night through Monday morning, giving us an increasing chance for rain showers and the possibility of a few thunderstorms. Timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation. So overnight tonight, no worries out there. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. Definitely colder overnight lows for the most part dropping off into the 40s. Then for tomorrow on your Sunday, some increasing clouds, especially by tomorrow night, working up from the southwest as that system gets closer. Then again, overnight tomorrow night through especially Monday morning, some of those showers coming in through eastern Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas. The chance for rain for Monday at about 60%. The possibility of a few lingering showers on Election Day Tuesday. Otherwise, it's just looking dry on Tuesday and mostly cloudy. Overnight lows tonight dropping off into the 40s. We have Bartlesville at 42 degrees, Claremore at 45, mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. Easterly winds all light between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. Tahlequah, chilly morning for us at 44 degrees, Old Mogi at 46. We have Bristow at 47, southeasterly winds all less than about 10 miles per hour. Dry skies tonight, definitely colder for us from the 40s to right around 50 degrees. We have Holdenville at 50, the winds all less than about 10. So here's your day planner for tomorrow on your Sunday. Chilly to start at 8 o'clock at 46 degrees. Light winds at lunchtime, partly cloudy skies. The daytime high in Tulsa coming in at 70 degrees. Pahuska at 69, also into the upper 60s around Venita. 70 for our viewers in Pryor and also the Salina area. Southeasterly winds between about 5 and 10. Some of those locations jumping up into the lower 70s. Shakota at 71 degrees. Southeasterly winds all less than about 10 miles per hour for the morning and also for the afternoon. High temperatures from the lower 70s to even the mid 70s in some cases. We have Tallahena at 72 degrees. McAllister at 71. Southeasterly winds between about 5 and 10. Here's a look at your latest 7 day forecast. So an increasing chance for rain showers. Maybe a few thunderstorms on Monday. Cooler below that average high temperature coming in at 61. The possibility of a few lingering showers there, Corey, on Election Day, but it does look dry for the most part, mostly cloudy skies. Definitely a more fall feeling to the forecast there next week. Veterans Day, mostly sunny and 68. All right, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and send it over to sports.